Good morning guys or afternoon. I'm so nervous today I'm gonna leave the house for the first time since March I'm doing a shoot with National Bookstore today, which is exciting and nerve-wracking and I'm terrified for so many reasons First because it's a shoot like I'm okay with talking to you guys right now in front of a camera when it's just me and the camera but in front of other people I still get stage fright. It's a two hour shoot and I'm so nervous. Um, but I have a change of clothes because I don't know what they're gonna make me wear. Um, my camera and my boyfriend's coming along to accompany me. So I'm really happy to get to see him again too. I've got my Tita bag full of everything I could need. <laughs> Something else I'm doing for the first time in eight months is wear jeans. Yeah, I'm, I'm very scared, excited, but more scared than excited at this point. And hopefully I'll calm down in a bit so I can actually go and do the shoot. So right now I'm just waiting um, for my boyfriend to pick me up. I will see you guys in a bit. Bookstore. And today we are um, here today with a very very special guest, so booktuber, book vlogger, writer, and a certified book lover, Salve Villarosa. Hi everyone, my name is Salve. are back in Manila traffic so <laughs> I just got home and my lipstick's all a mess because I wore the mask throughout filming <laughs> so a there was no need to wear lipstick B it's all messy now um, if you look at the inside of my face mask lovely <laughs> I'm home and I'm just in the bathroom because I don't want to like stay out in the communal areas before I get to shower so I'm gonna hop in be a responsible citizen and shower. Um, but I had so much fun today, like, to get to talk to other human beings. What are other human beings? That was really fun, especially with people who are as fond of books as I am. It was really such a great experience. I'm so excited. They did give me um, books as a thank you. So I'm gonna try to film the books maybe um, after two days and I'll return to this vlog, but I'll see you guys in two days. Yeah, I'm really tired. Like, my cardio is a joke because I just got out of the car and went up the stairs and I'm so out of breath and I'm trying to do this like right now fast so I can hop in the shower and be clean but and my hair doesn't I've been patting this for like five minutes and it doesn't want to go down but as far as like returns into the public world after quarantine go I mean it's freaking fun to be doing it talking about books and I got to see Alex a lot and um, just hang out with him so it was kind of like a date also all in one but yeah i'm gonna go shower and be responsible and i'll see you guys in two days to talk about the books hello guys i am back at like three four five a whole week later i just filmed the cousins book review so i was like oh you know what i'm gonna time the unboxing of this with when i'm gonna film another video another regular video so at least like i'm all dolled up and in the sayang yung makeup and the hair which i've straightened it so many times this week that it might be a little fried so we are here finally and i haven't gotten a look at the box yet except for one book i took a peek like a in the car on the way home and then i decided it would be better if like i would open it as part of the video aside from the cousins which was like the first title i saw and i used for my book review earlier other than that it's gonna be a surprise so we're gonna try to open this up together try no we will guys we will it was so funny because when i got the box when they gave me the box i keep saying the box i feel like i'm in the movie seven with brad pitt what's in the box is that too dated a reference i don't think so but the first thing i said was um, I'm okay with the box alone. Guys, it's a pretty box. I love collecting boxes, so it's really pretty. So it's time to open it. So the first book is a Mitch album book. 
my first Mitch album book. It was in the library while I was at school, but this is the first one I've ever owned. So this one is Finding Chica, just from the subtitle alone, A Little Girl, An Earthquake, and the Making of a Family. Yeah, this is gonna make me cry. So Mitch Album and his wife worked at an orphanage in Haiti, and this is the story of one of the orphans there who suffers from an illness and they go right can you already tell my from my voice and they go looking for a cure so it's it's a memoir oh dear this is gonna get me i don't know if i'm in the right headspace to read this book probably not anytime soon that was zero to 100 i didn't expect to see that there really i didn't i'm gonna take this ribbon out next up we have jennifer weiner's mrs everything very interesting i've never heard of this one i'll give it a read and then talk to you guys in a hot second from what i gather from the summary it's just a story about what it means to be a woman in the world and it's about two sisters who took very different paths when they grew up and then they come together again with two very different lives and i guess it talks about like is one sister more of a woman than the other i'm gonna be really realistic about what i'm gonna get around to reading things this might sit on my shelf for a couple of years but i would love to revisit it when I'm a little more worldly. I still feel like a kid at the risk of quoting Britney Spears. I'm not a girl, not yet a woman. For now, I'm gonna take good care of it until I get to that age. Yeah, I just feel like I'm too young and dumb to read this right now. The next book is The Authenticity Project by Claire Pooley. This is also another art. So it's about a 70 year old dude who leaves a book in a cafe bit by bit all these strangers add to the little green book so the tagline reads what would happen if we all shared the truth about our lives i feel like this is a summer read for me like it's the book if i want to do some like soul searching like right now towards the end of the year my mindset is more like action scenes blockbuster pew pew fantasy awesomeness epic moments but i think when i'm looking for like a quiet book this is the one i will reach out to i can already see the next book so we'll talk about that so the next book i've already read <laughs> girl gone viral by arvin amadi i was a part of the blog tour for this book when it first came out i did a review of this if you want my shameless plug it's up there i did enjoy this should i tell you what it's about or should you just watch my video <laughs> No, it's set in futuristic San Francisco where there's this girl, this tech genius who goes viral and she uses her new viral fame to track down her missing father. But the thing is, with viral fame comes viral consequences. I'm realizing now how awkward this title is in the midst of a pandemic. The next book is... The Cousins by Karen M. McManus. I literally just spent, I think, an hour talking about this because, like I said, I just filmed the book review of this. I want to save all my thoughts for the book review or, I suppose, by the time you're seeing this video, the review will already have been up, so maybe I'll leave a link up top. But this is a mystery, like a full-on mystery. Mer it's a full-on mystery. No ghosts. It's just a straight-on sleuthing, magnifying glass mem messer- I can't say it. Mystery. It's about three cousins whose parents were cut off by their rich grandma all these years ago. They get a letter from her one day saying, come spend the summer at my resort. And they're gonna go because they want to figure out what made her disinherit all her children all those years ago. It's a really good book. I really enjoyed it. It's definitely one of my favorites for 2020. <gasps> I'm saying it right now. Oh, spoiler for my year-end video. I'm really hyper, guys. Ugh. I haven't even had sugar today. The Second to the last book is Admission by Julie Buxbaum. So this book is inspired by the college admission scandal that happened sometime last year. Celebrities like Felicity Huffman and Lori Laughlin were like arrested because they tried to bribe their kids way into good universities. Oh boy, ooh, this is gonna be juicy. I'm excited. <laughs> Okay, so there's one last thing in the box, but first I'm gonna go with the last book in the box and it is Siri, Who Am I? So it says it's a hilarious comedy about a young woman who uses her Instagram account to retrace her steps after she wakes up in a Los Angeles hospital with no memory of who she is or who she's claiming to be. She wakes up, she's wearing a Prada dress, Chanel lipstick, the house she supposedly lives in belongs to a French billionaire, and then she like goes across Los Angeles to figure out who she is oh my gosh i feel like i'm gonna have a blast with this book dang it am i gonna have to rework the rest of my tbr for this year i think i might honestly when they were like oh okay so we have a, something as a thank you gift for you i thought like oh like gift certificates probably for national bookstore or a treat or a notebook and then like he comes in with this stack of books and i'm like no that's the best thank you gift i could ever imagine dang it what book am i reading now can i stop reading it oh no wait it's also a good book but the last thing is 
So this one's just a ball pen. Okay, so funny story because I also know that the footage I took of the actual shoot wasn't that much. So am I talking longer so this video will seem longer? Perhaps. But no, it's funny because I was at my desk yesterday or two days ago trying to find a working ball pen. And I had like the cup with all the pens in. None of them worked. I have not been writing it that long. That all, I guess my pens dried up and none of them were working at all. And I was like, are you kidding me? I, I don't have a working ball pen. I guess because everything's digital now. This comes at the exact perfect time because I had just discovered I am ball penless. I have one last working ball pen in my room and that's it. Now two. So my hair was a mess during that whole thing, but I figure like vlogs are more au natural and more organic. That's why I'm wearing my PJs. But honestly, that was such a fantastic blast that I had. The National Bookstore rep that I was talking with um, during the shoot, we were like, you know, it's just, it feels so good to be talking in person with other people who are as passionate about books as you are. The videos are already up, so I can leave a link down below to the three videos because we talked so much that there was enough content for three videos worth but yeah i just had the best time i honestly never thought that the first time i would be leaving the house would be for a shoot what it was a really good experience i was terrified but i had a blast they're so lovely to work with and yeah that concludes this vlog i don't do vlogs very often i don't know how does one end a vlog just like peace and love i don't know but yeah that about does it for today's vlog you can follow me on my other bookish adventures on twitter and instagram both at cuckoo for books please subscribe and i will see you guys very soon Bye, guys.